Hello YouTube, today I'm at Spirit Ford taking a look at this 2022 Ford Transit Connect XLT. It has a 2.0 liter four cylinder engine and an eight speed automatic transmission. And personally, this is my favorite um, van style vehicle. Starting off up front, you are gonna have a very uh, Ford Fusion-esque style grill and headlight setup. The headlights are halogen and incandescence as well as the fog lights. You are gonna get parking sensors in the front on this XLT. Coming around to the wheel and tire setup, we have some Continental Pro Contacts. And the tire size is a 215-55R16. Amber side marker lights, plastic applique along the rocker panels, black mirror caps. You'd also have the um, blind spot mirror on both passenger and driver side. Massive doors for making getting in and out very easy. Right over here we have your capless fuel fill port. Very big vertical tail lamps. Parking sensors again are integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Got your XLT badge right over there. Massive rear window. Third brake light's gonna be up top. Overall, very, very nice looking van. I really like this plastic applique they put right here on the driver and passenger uh, doors. Again, it is on the opposite side as well to be symmetrical. But overall, I think this is a really, really good buy. And we'll go over why when we take a look at the interior. All right, so starting off over here on the left-hand side, we're gonna have all of the window controls for the vehicle. And then in front of that, we're gonna have your mirror controls. These do have power folding mirrors as well, which is nice. Like I was saying on the exterior, you do have your blind spot mirror on both driver and passenger sides. Right over here, we have the rotary dial selector for the exterior lights, including your fog light button, as well as your dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Coming up to the instrument cluster, we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, and an LCD screen in the middle. Working our way back to the steering wheel, it's a nice kind of rubbery, rubberized steering wheel with bolsters at 10 and 2. We have the control buttons for the center LCD screen right here on the left side of the steering wheel. And then under that, we have all the cruise control buttons. Over here, we have your voice activated button and then your um, buttons for the radio. Before we go over the radio, I do want to point out the reason, one of the reasons why I like this vehicle is because of the visibility. Massive windshield, nice windows right here on the driver and passenger side, which increase your visibility. They let in a lot of natural light, which is nice. Tons and tons of visibility in this vehicle. This is extremely safe. Um, I love this feature of it. And you got tons of dashboard space. So over here, you do have a little storage compartment behind the factory airbag, which is pretty cool. Touchscreen display right here. Very nice, very responsive. You do have your phone call um, button right there, as well as your apps and settings. All the physical buttons for the radio. Hazard light button. Extremely deep storage cubby. Um, I fit my whole hand in there and still can't even touch the back of it. It is very, very big. Dual zone climate control right here. Your eco mode, traction control off button, automatic start stop off button, it is on by default. Parking sensors on off, they are on by default. Gear selector with manual plus minus. Two USBs down here as well as a 12 volt outlet. Two cup holders, little storage tray right there. Nice center armrest that does have some storage in there as well. Here are the cloth seats, pretty standard massive glove box like that coming up top to the vanity you have a absolutely massive unlit vanity for a passenger as well as your driver right here we have your incandescent dome map lights as you can see glasses storage right here as well as some uh, of your speakers for your hands-free calling but above this plastic piece you actually have storage in the headliner and it goes all the way to here. So you have easily a foot to 18 inches of storage up top 
and you have just tons of it. So if you need to put maps or magazines or whatever up there, maybe a hoodie or something, you can totally do that. The, the big selling feature for me in this vehicle is storage capacity. Um, you have tons of storage in the doors, storage on the dashboard, storage um, in between the uh, plastic piece right here in the headliner. Just overall, there's a bunch, a bunch of storage in this vehicle and I love it. Let's take a look at the back seats and see how much legroom we have. So getting in the back is real easy. These doors are on sliders and they're very easy to slide open and lock close. You get tons of uh, space to put things in the vehicle. These seats do fold down flat, giving you pretty much a load flat floor. It is kind of um, like movie theater, movie theater style seating where there is a little bit of a step up to get into the back seats. And even with that, you have tons and tons of headroom, which I will go over in one minute. With the driver's seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have maybe six to eight inches of legroom before my knees hit the front seat. Uh, you do get storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. All the rear HVAC controls are gonna be right here. Above that, you have a 12 volt outlet and a 110 volt, uh, 150 watt power outlet as well. Um, because this is more of the uh, commercial uh, series or commercial focused vehicle, you have tons and tons of headroom. I'd say I have a solid six to eight inches of headroom before my head hits the headliner. And sitting in the back seats, you can actually see how much storage space you have. Sorry about the camera with the autofocus, but tons and tons of storage up there. Up top, you have your halogen or incandescent dome map lights, storage right here, rear HVAC vents on the B pillar. And getting into the rear seats is easy. However, uh, I'm a little bit too big to fit, but you do get your HVAC vents, cup holders on both sides, and then your halogen incandescent dome map light up top. I'm sorry I keep saying halogen, I, I mean to say incandescent, but tons of headroom. Uh, and these seats again do fold completely flat, giving you tons of cargo space. So with that being said, let's take a look and uh, see how much cargo space we actually have. So to open this massive uh, lift gate, you just come up to under the Ford logo, push the little button, and it will open for you. It is absolutely massive. Uh, with these rear seats in the upright position, you don't have a crazy amount of storage back here, but if you were to fold them down completely flat, like so, and then fold those seats down completely flat, you can easily fit a standard uh, four by eight plywood or drywall back here, which is really, really nice. Um, incandescent cargo lamps, and then there's another look at the cup holder and HVAC vents. Overall, I absolutely love this vehicle. I think this is, is one of the uh, best values um, in the van segment. To close the lift gate, there's a little strap right here. You're gonna pull it down and it's gonna close for you. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's a window sticker for this vehicle. Again, it's a 2022 Ford Transit Connect XLT with a two liter inline four cylinder engine and an eight speed automatic transmission. Standard equipment's gonna be right here for a base price of $30,035. Optional equipment's gonna be right here for a total MSRP of $32,025. Fuel economy rating is gonna be up here in this corner. This vehicle is rated at 24 miles per gallon city, 28 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 26 miles per gallon. I wanna give Spirit Ford a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle specifically or any of the 2022 Ford lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Let Cheryl Yaros know that you saw the YouTube video and she will be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. Also, so consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and checking out the description below for all of the affiliate links. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.